Sorry, yes. Good morning, everybody. We are starting sharp on time, uh, just like a Swiss clock, uh, it's 10.15. Um, so I welcome you uh, all to the, the Evol Comgen uh, COSI. So this is the second year that uh, we are running this COSI. It's very, I'm very pleased to see uh, this robust attendance. Uh, so the, the goal of this COSI, the primary goal is to have a home uh, at ISMB for talks on evolution and comparative, comparative genomics. Uh, in a really a broad sense, and uh, and of course, you know, evolution uh, cuts across all of uh, biology and certainly computational biology. So, you know, we are occasionally also home for uh, talks that are somewhat misfit to other sessions. But uh, I think this is a. Uh, but but we also have like uh, I think many uh, new trends that are uh, coalescing in this session. So this year we had many submissions also on cancer phylogeny. It's very nice to see. Uh, the, the cancer community and the evolutionary community coming together in this, in this uh, COSI. Um, I'd like to highlight the contribution of the organizing committee, many of whom are present uh, uh, today, in particular uh, the, 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 I mean my uh, fellow co-chair of the proceedings, Danny Durand, who's here, who will be chairing the, also the first session, uh, Lucien Jean, uh, where is Lu Lucien here, who who's uh, been coordinating also the, the schedule and the, the coordination between the, the COSI and the, the proceedings. Um, Aida and Lars, uh, who did a tremendous job uh, leading the, the reviewing efforts uh, on, the, um, on all the abstracts, the talk, the, the, the posters. And then we have a number of other colleagues who were also participating in, um, in all the decisions regarding uh, the organization of this COSI. Um, we are also backed by a large number of colleagues who are uh, helping with the reviewing of the articles and who are generally stakeholders in, in, in this COSI. And you know, just like last year, I want to uh, invite all of you to consider uh, joining this effort and getting in touch. I mean, the idea here is really to be, you know, to, to represent the interest of, uh, of ISMB participants in this area. And so really this is open and we are also very interested in uh, contribution from uh, uh, you know, peers from any uh, career stage. So please get in touch with us and uh, consider joining us. Uh, we can certainly uh, use your contribution. Now, we have uh, this year, we have one extra session. So we have a, really a full day of talk in this area. So that's really exciting. Um, this is the first session. We'll have uh, one in the afternoon, uh, well, two in the afternoon. And I also want to highlight the fact that we have. Uh, we really also a robust number of, of posters that are primarily, you know, centered on evolution and comparative genomics. Posters one to, uh, K1 to K69. I invite you uh, to, uh, to to go to that session uh, between six and eight. And then there will be also two community events. Uh, one this evening. If those of you uh, who sign up to go to the Mark Halle, we will have a, this evening at the, the the dinner. We'll have kind of a cozy corner. Uh, and so, you know, you're very much welcome to come by uh, if you're, um, you know, if you'd like to carry on with some of the discussions. Um, and then t tomorrow we have a dinner uh, to whom we, I mean, we invited um, uh, talk speakers and uh, the poster presenters. But actually there's still also a few, few slots. So if some of you would like to, to join, please get in touch with us and then we can pr probably arrange this. Um, Okay, so now just in terms of the logistics, we tried very hard to accommodate a large number of talks because we think this is, uh, we want this to be like a really a vibrant forum with also the knowledge that all of us also have then posters, you know, to provide some more details, which is why, you know, we decided on really quite short talks. 10 minutes is very short. And of course, this includes also the Q&A session. So please be on time. So we've just had a, a discussion with Danny, and then we think the optimal length is 80% for the talk and 20% for the Q&A. So if you're giving a short talk, you know, aim at eight minutes. If it's a bit longer, then you'll, you'll get less time for questions. And we really need you to be quick with the transition so that we don't accumulate uh, delay, which is also a challenge for me here now in this introduction. Um, 
And the other thing, if you have a proceedings talk, that's 20 minutes, so you know, aim for 16 minutes roughly. And uh, the chair will probably give you uh, a little sign in one or two minutes before the end so that uh, you, you, you know that you have, uh, you have to wrap, wrap up. And it will be the, 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 the end will be the expected talk uh, length and not the whole slots. So keep this in mind. Okay, so I'd like to invite uh, Danny now on stage for, to chair the first session. Thank you very much.